off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay I'm in a hurry Abby is taking her driver's test today Let's go see if she passes All right, there she goes. She has like the best instructor to drive with today though. And what's funny is that um, as we were coming in, there was a kid pulling in and trying to park or whatever. And we're like, oh yeah, it doesn't look like he's driven very many times. And I got out and it was my friend's son. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I was actually worried because I was parked next to the car he was trying to pull in and park next to. And I was like, oh, I shouldn't have done that to my own son. Anyway, and she knows someone else who's here um, so I am excited for Abby. She is nervous. I know she's nervous because um, she had such a bad experience with the last instructor for her practice test. But this instructor is going to ease all her worries. He's he's really calm um, and she's a really good driver. Oh, here she goes. Hang on. Try not to aim the camera right in her face. We're just going to do it through the rear view mirror. But she said I could film her if she passes the test. So here she goes. Oh, I'm so nervous for her. She's such a good driver, so I want her to do good on this. Bye, kiddo. So, if you don't see me talking about it again <laughs> in this video, she didn't pass. I think she has two attempts. She has an hour to get two attempts to pass this test, and then she has to go to work, which is why she's got her work cup. They actually gave this to her and her monster to get through the day. Um, so, hopefully when we see you guys next she'll actually be happy <laughs> but for now i'm going to go to the pharmacy and pick up a med medication and if i have time i might run over to lowe's and get concrete paint because we know how much jason wants to put concrete paint down <laughs> also just for reference abby woke me up exactly 18 minutes before we had to be in the car this morning <laughs> yeah i slept until 11 30. to be fair i woke up at 5 a.m probably again at 8 a.m. to go to the bathroom and again at 10 a.m. to go to the bathroom and also I'm at a new low. <laughs> Fantastic. That's why I look a little disheveled. Luckily I actually did my hair last night into braids um, but it's going to be the hottest day of the year so far so these curls are not staying down. Not after the day we are gonna have. They're not gonna stay down. Got our meds, and did you know that this Fairlife milk is cheaper at Target? It is. It's $4.99 at the grocery store and $4.19 at Target. So that is where I will be getting it now. Okay, we found our concrete paint. We're gonna get this light gray that I'm calling Jason right now to see if we have rollers at home. All right, I told you the hair wouldn't last. One step outside of my car into the heat since I got home and I was like, yep, this is, this is going up. It probably will just be a ponytail until I go to the beach tonight and then it'll go into a little top bun. But Abby did not pass. To be fair, even her instructor was like, I want to pass you. I want to pass you so bad. Oh, hang on, Ashley is calling me. Hey, I'm in the garage. Oh, okay, um, when do we have to go? Four hours, three hours. Are you done with your chores? Yeah? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm in the garage. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought you were still out. I never heard the garage open. I know. I'm out here. I had to put the milks in the fridge and I'll be right in. That made sense. Cute. Hang on. I'll be right in. You're glitching. <laughs> I'm glitching because I'm in a garage. Um, she did not pass, but to be fair, her instructor, who is an amazing instructor, everyone wants this instructor and he's impossible to get. Um, Kaylee had him last time. He said, I wish I could pass you. Every other point devaluation that she got would have cleared her to pass her test. I think she missed two points because she hit the curb doing the around, backing up around the corner and he's like, but it was like a very mild skid. And he's like, I just have to do the marking off. Just go back inside. I'm just 
filming really quick. I'll be right there. Go in. I w just go inside. Go inside. There's a reason why I'm out here in the hot <laughs> filming. Because I don't necessarily know if Abby wants to, like, I want her to be able to, like, say it to them. And by the time you guys see this, she'll, she already knows that I'm going to tell you that she didn't pass. But she doesn't, she said, I will be on camera if I pass. If I don't, I won't be on camera. So, um, but she had basically passed and he was telling her you're doing great we're almost done we're gonna go up this hill and then we're gonna head right back to the driving school and you're doing excellent um, we just have a few more things to work on and check off off the list and she was like fantastic and they start heading up this hill that is the beast of a hill this is like the hardest thing like parallel parking isn't hard to pass round the corner isn't hard to pass backing up around the corner I mean this stupid hill it is steep it has three sharp turns to it and you can only go 25 miles an hour up this hill and never in my life in 21 years of living here have I actually gone 25 miles an hour up this hill because you have to gun it you have to gun it to get up this hill if you only go 25 miles an hour you won't make it up this hill like even in the broad sunshine it's just hard to get up this hill so she's going 25 miles an hour and she says to him, I have to gun it to get up this hill. And he was like, you can give it a little bit of a punch. You have up to 30 miles an hour, but you, can, you can't go over 30. And she was like, I understand that, but I have got to give it a little bit of a punch to get up. And she is like, is that okay? And he was like, yes, you just, again, you can't go over 30. So she gives it a little punch and it didn't go right away and, and she was like oh it's not working it's not sh it's not shifting in the gear and she said that it's not shifting and all of a sudden it shifted and the speedometer hit 31 and then it instantly dropped to 28 and she didn't do anything different it just punched it into gear and then shot it back into what it should have been and he was like, I feel horrible. That was the car. That was the car, not you. I know it was the car, but the speedometer said 31 and I can't pass you. Let's go back. There's a spider by my camera. So they had to go back and they didn't pass. So I'm gonna go inside right now after an hour and a half of running her to work and sitting in the McDonald's parking lot getting my Coke because I was like, I feel so bad for Abby. She just wanted something to work for her and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna pay the new fee and have her sign up and take the test next Saturday. And he was like, just come right back in here. Sign up right away and come right back in here. Um, it could be even Wednesday. Like he's like, you're a good driver. That's not my concern. He's like, I just can't pass you because the speedometer said 31. It's a legal thing. It's not even that you just missed two points. You did an illegal driving during the test and it's an automatic fail. <laughs> it was so bad. But we have such a big day, a long day ahead of us that I can't like wallow in this. I have to just keep going forward. All right, I've been home for a little while, catching up on laundry. I had an entire pile of socks that I had to match up. We're putting on the old flip flops to go and spray off the outside patio. I convinced Jason to get a um, pressure washer from our neighbor. Ew. Not our neighbor, our friend. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out. Um, but I'm gonna hose it off first. Why is there a peanut? A peanut? There's a peanut? Yeah. There is in fact a peanut. Wonder what little critter brought that over here. Okay, I'm gonna move the grill. This cover is, this grill is like, I would love to get rid of it, but um, I'm gonna have to have his help. Do you think you can help me lift that? Are you strong yeah. enough? I did, I did it by myself. Did you really do the yard waste yourself? Yeah. Good job, kiddo. The yard waste bucket was there. She moved it outside the gate. All right, well, hang on. I gotta find a place. Inside it. I know, but we're gonna have to, I'll hose it off outside. Um, but I'm gonna put this grill into this section over here. I'm gonna try and, I had it here and someone moved it. Um, and I moved the chair. Cause we're gonna paint this whole patio. I bought the paint. Pink? No, light gray. We already picked it out. Um, and what has been over here? Max. Are you serious? Max did that? No, he peed and then. Dug it up. No, that could have been Daisy. 
That's Daisy. No, Daisy hasn't been over since we did the yard. All right, well, regardless. No, see, I don't want to hose that out because that'll get all of that wet. So we'll just leave that. Put the lid on. We might just wipe off the top because it doesn't really matter. Okay, I can't move the hose thing because it's attached to the wall. Wait, no, but we yeah. have all of the rest of this cleared off. I'm going to move that um, as we, I'm going to just move it around because um, I don't have anywhere else to put it. Having fun? Yeah. Okay, keep doing it. Okay, I'm exporting one of my videos here that I'm working on. But do you know what kind of stinks? <laughs> we have plans with Ashley right now. Um, she missed an activity for church. Uh, like while we were, I think it was right after we got back from Hawaii. They went to our um, her leader's horse ranch. Not her ranch, but where she um, keeps her horse. And um, Ashley had to miss that activity. And since then, they haven't been able to like remake it up until today. So they have two girls um, that are going to go and visit this horse. What is the date? Five. So they're gonna go out to this horse ranch, which is gonna be super fun. And Ashley's really looking forward to it. One other girl is gonna go, and I actually am excited because I used to teach Ashley's class at church, which is the same group that does these activities twice a month. And this girl is really cute, and so I'm excited to like go and spend an hour with them out at this horse ranch. Um, it's all gonna be great and you're gonna come along with us. It's gonna be really really fun, but <laughs> Ashley's two friends two or three friends that she mainly plays with and goes does cheerleading with and spends most of her time with They live far enough away that it can't just be a spontaneous like play date and Finally she has one friend that's here. I've never seen her before and she just lives around the corner And so it just got to be like a spontaneous like Saturday play date it was so cute. They're upstairs playing and we have to leave and I'm like, oh, I've been waiting. I've been wanting her to have like a friend that's close by and now I have to interrupt it. <laughs> also, the lady told us to wear jeans and like pants and shoes that we can get mucked up and I am not. It is 90 degrees outside. I am not wearing short pants. I'm just not going to get on the horse. I don't want to anyway, but I need to find... I'll just wear my hokas because I don't really care. Oh, I can wear these ones. Okay, we'll wear these ones. These are my old, what are these, Brooks? Wear these guys. And, uh, hey, Ash, we gotta go in five minutes, kiddo. What? That was Chelsea. <laughs> then I've gotta decide quickly, probably, whether or not, um, Chelsea and Ashley are coming with us for our beach night. The other kids are coming. One of our friend's kids are coming with them. And so I thought about bringing Chelsea and Ashley with us. I just haven't had time to like get all the beach stuff out. You know what I mean? Like it just takes work. Yes, I'm going back and forth. Get my shoes, my socks, but I cannot put socks on without putting lotion on my feet. I'm like a texture person. I have to like, I can't stand the feel of like dry skin on socks. <laughs> My friend is taking me for pedicure on Monday and I'm very excited to go and get a pedicure. And I actually wish I had done my nails because um, they're pretty grown out. But I don't think I'll get my nails done at the same time. I think I'll make another appointment at my hair nail salon. So anyway. We're gonna, see look, these shoes are pretty nasty. I haven't worn these for a long time. So we'll go get these all mucked up at the, for, at the farm. At the farm. And it should be pretty fun. Be right back. They're not comfortable. I don't wanna, they're cute because I'm wearing like purple and purple, but there's a reason I stopped wearing those. We're gonna go with these guys. I'll wash them off. These are gonna have good soles to go through the dirt. Here we are. There's the horses, kiddo. In Oof. It's like, yeah, it's cute. There's the barn right there. Fun. I don't know where she is though. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank. 
Cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long. Tell them back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joy ride. Percy Beast is the spot. Did you have fun? Who's calling? Chelsea. Chelsea is. Hang on. Okay, tell us how it was. Good. You had a fun time? Yeah. What's the horse's name? Um, Diesel. Diesel. And he's huge, huh? He's, yeah. Tell him a little bit about Diesel. He, um, he was a rescue. Yeah. He came like 300 pounds, she said. 300 pounds. Which is very... Underweight. Yeah, he's meant to be... Yeah. Like, I don't remember what the weight was. Hundred. Yeah. Twelve hundred pounds. So he was very underweight. Yeah. I think he had ulcers. Yeah. That went undiagnosed, and so he wasn't eating. But they're training him. They've been training him for a year, and he's getting better around kids. He loves kids, huh? We were the only ones who got to ride him. Yeah. The group that came last time, there's 14 kids. And it, it wasn't was, even meant to be 14 kids, but people ran. Yeah, they, well, they, it was okay. They brought their siblings, but uh, they um, had too many kids there, and they were like, yeah, we are not bridling him. So you guys kind of got, like, star treatment. You guys had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. So now um, we are heading home. I'm going to grab both of us dinner, her and Chelsea, um, some kids' meals. I think this is where I need to turn. Is this Fall City Road? Yes. Is it? No. No. I gotta look up the directions. Hang on. All right. Now that we have directions to go back home, I, we're on the right track. I just didn't wasn't sure about that first turn. But and we're kind of out in the country, and I don't come out here very often. Um, but our friends decided not to have their two boys come to the lake with them because they're too exhausted from the, all their sports games today. So sorry, kids. It's an adult only night now. Staying home. There'll be more times. There'll be more times for the lake. I just couldn't get my head wrapped around all this stuff that I would have to take. <laughs> if, excuse me. If I was taking kids. Um, so we're just gonna go adults only. I have the chairs set out with some sunscreen, and I got the towels out just in case they came. Um, but I'm gonna grab Jason and I some dinner, and I'm trying to think. I think I'm gonna get Subway, just a little bit fresher and then um, pick up some kids meals for you two. And I think Chelsea has a friend over, yeah. so. Um, we'll just get, like, you'll, you'll just play and have fun at home, right? Well, I can't really play with them until I take a shower. Yeah, you need to go home and take a shower. Or just and Chelsea, really I actually almost had Chelsea come with us, but she is highly allergic to hay. She would have ballooned up. We thought it was it. a horse, but you can't be allergic to horses. Nope, she's allergic to hay. All right, I found a husband. <laughs> We're here at the lake and it's so crowded. And I guess there was like a mass exodus right when our friends got here. So hopefully it kind of calms down a little bit so we can have it be a little bit more to ourselves. <laughs> 